Hello everyone and welcome back to Hobby Central. This is Draw again. We're doing some more CGC preview stuff. Uh, this is for the February bulk submission. Uh, this is going to be a long video because we have 100 cards to show here. Um, and without further ado, we're just going to get into it because, like I said, lots of cards to go through. So first up, we have... Brandon E. And he actually has the largest stack of cards from this submission. So uh, thank you, Brandon. Um, just like the last video, there is definitely a theme with the cards we're seeing. We're going to see a lot of this guy right here. We got the Charizard V Champion's Path promo. One of those. Two of those. Oh yeah, he's got some more. A few more. A few more. <laughs> could say uh, Brandon has a few of these. And why not three more for a total of 11 of these just from Brandon, which I mean, I can't blame them. They're popular. Why not grade him? He also has a Jirachi Amazing Rare. That's just a nice looking card. These Amazing Rares, I really do hope they, they sh show more of them in the future. That is Rayquaza. His Grim Snarl VMAX from Shiny Star V. Great texture on that card. Here's Rainbow Rare, Hyper Rare, whatever you want to call it. A Pikachu VMAX. Another very common card this mission. A Rainbow Rare B. This one actually has some really cool uh, texture to it also. An Eternatus V from Shiny Star V. Vivid Voltage Charizard, Reverse Rare, Reverse Hollow, whatever you want to call it. He's actually got two of those. And he's got a regular rare too, just for the heck of it. That's just a great, great piece of artwork, honestly. And he has a Pikachu V. Charizard GX. I believe this is the Burning Shadows version. A Boltund V. And the last card in his group, another amazing rare, the Veltal. And yeah, that is all we have for Brandon. Next up, we got Jeff L. And I mentioned we uh, have some Charizards in this submission because we got a Champion's Path Charizard B. Another Champion's Path Charizard B. And don't worry, I have photographed these. Um, so we'll know whose is whose, in addition to all the other safety checks I am doing in coordination with CGC to make sure nothing gets mixed up. And one more for a total of four. Next up, we got Robert S. with one card. And it's a good one. Chunky Pikachu. Pikachu V Max. A 
Next we have Barry S. With some really nice cards. Celebi Amazing Rare. These things just pop. Rayquaza. Another Rayquaza. Jirachi. Another Jirachi. Raikou, Raikou, however you prefer to say his name. A Leon full art. Really, really like this card. A Nessa full art. Wouldn't surprise me if this thing doesn't stay in the bulk tier with the way female full arts are going. And last but not least, from Barry, Pikachu V Max. Next, we have Gerardo R. He's sending in a Jirachi GX full art. Another Jirachi GX full art. And then the star of the submission, Charizard V for Champion's Path. One. And two. Definitely a very popular card in this submission. Next we have James C. Sending in a Dragonite EX from Evolutions. Very, very nice card. And an Obstacoon Gold from Vivid Voltage. Chase P sending in the ever popular Charizard V from Champion's Path. And then two really cool cards Mewtwo GX. This one just barely makes the cut for a bulk tier, but great shiny Mewtwo right there. And the classic. Ancient Mew. So many of this card printed, but forever a desired card for nostalgia. Next up, we have Hunter. got some good ones as well first up we got charizard from tag bolt not one but two of them then we have blastoise also from tag bolt the artwork on these cards is just so good and japanese hollows the addition of the hollow border just makes these cards look so much nicer. And we got a shiny Suicune from Shiny Star V. One of the most expensive normal shinies from that set. A Pikachu V Max from Vivid Voltage, of course. Zacian Amazing Rare. And a fun one, the Metal Energy Secret Rare. That's all we have for Hunter. 
next up we have donovan donovan sent in a japanese pikachu v this is the japanese equivalent of the vivid voltage one and to go with that he also sent in the japanese v max And then I'm sure you could guess what his other three cards are. Champion's Path Charizard V. At bulk prices, you can't really uh, help but include this card in the submission. And the last of the customer cards, we have Alexis K. This is the second largest submission of the whole thing. Uh, starting off with a big card that again, barely meets the cut, um, but Charizard Reverse Rare from Evolutions. And Alexis likes sending in duplicates. So here's a few VMAX Pikachus, because, you know, why not have four instead of one? The Charizard Reverse Hollow from Vivid Voltage. Rangaroo Shiny, also from Vivid Voltage. I'm a fan of this card. Galarian Obstagoon, shiny from Vivid Voltage. We got Vanessa Fort. And why not have two of those? This is a card I think has a lot of room for growth. A B Rainbow Rare. Again, with that really cool texture to it. Pokemon Center Lady. This is actually an underrated full art, in my opinion. Leon Full Art. Welder Full Art. The texture really pops on this card. Rayquaza, Amazing Rare. Jirachi, Amazing Rare. I think Jirachi's uh, Amazing Rare Hollow is my favorite hollow of Vivid Voltage. Celebi. Raikou. Raikou. Zacian and Zamazenta. So that's all the customer cards, but we do have some other cards I'm going to go ahead and show that we're sending in. First off are two of Chaos, Chaos's personal cards. We got a Dark Blastoise from the original rocket set. And he also sent in a Firo from Jungle. And then we have some cards for Hobby Central inventory. Got the Cinderace V promo from the recent Rapid Strike and Single Strike. Got one of those. And two of those. And then to accompany that, we also have the Rule Boom V. Same promo, same set. 
and a second one. And then coming from Hova, we got some cool cards. We got a base set two Blastoise. This one has a little bend in it, which is why I decided to put it in bulk rather than economy. But it's a Blastoise. There's no going wrong with one of the originals. And he also has a dark Blastoise, a Blastoise of his own. This one with a nice little swirl right here. The Rocket Scyther. This one has at least one swirl. I think there might be a small second one also, which is pretty cool. Then he has the Cracked Ice Charizard from Vivid Voltage. One of those. And why not a second one of those as well. And then his last card, we have a Morlul. This is the horribly miscut Morlul he pulled on a stream a ways back now. Couple more cards for Hobby Central inventory. Some more miscuts. We got a Vaporeon Reverse Wear from Plasma Freeze. Terribly miscut, top to bottom. As well as a Hydrogon that is miscut, top to bottom. There's only one more card that is getting graded and it is my card and it's kind of a funny card to get graded because the condition is not good on it but believe it or not it is still probably a $50 card as is Charizard EX from EX Fire Red Leaf Green a very pricey card in good shape still pricey even like this would not surprise me if this comes back a one um yeah it's in rough shape. But I like reading Charizard, so there's my addition to the submission. And yeah, that is everything for this econ submission. Or not econ, bulk submission. Um, 100 total cards, some of them I can't show because the customers asked us not to. Uh, very excited to see how they come back. Hopefully we get a perfect 10 in here somewhere. And um, yeah, that's all there is to it. I hope you're all as excited as I am to just send these out and get them back. And uh, take care, everyone.